All right, um, thanks for checking out this channel. Um, what I'm going to do with this, this, you know, I just made a video for that. I don't know if it's been uploaded yet or not, but I just did a video on how to fix one of these things. This is a uh, Gallagher M400. Uh, what we're, what I want to do with it, because I'm curious, is um, this is a 3.7 store jewel unit, probably outputs uh, at a certain ohm loaded ohm load. Uh, to it probably um, one to one and a half I would guess maybe two um, so but I've got a meter here that can tell me what kind of jewels we're getting out of it but uh, the guy that owns this one want to know if he can make it any stronger I said let me play with it let me see what I can do because you know you've, you've only got so much room inside these cases and stuff to be able to fit stuff inside of here there's only so much room you know, going to have things so tall because you can only go up to the height of this thing so, um, what I want to do is I'm going to play with it for a second. I want to take you guys along for the ride. So, um, let me, um, uh, how's my load tip? My load I'm going to put a 150 ohm load across this. It's a pretty decent load. And we're going to see what kind of output jewels we get out of it. This is a 3.7 stored, probably outputs, um, Oh, I would guess um, one, one and a half to two. It's probably between one and a half, give or take. So now I'm going to I'm turn the light on so I can see. And this meter I use here, tangled up, it's going to give me my output joules along, as well as my voltage at that particular load. And I got a 150 ohm load on it. So now I'm going to turn this meter on, switch it to joules, and go across it, reading um, 1.3 output joules at 3.5 kV, 1.4 joules. So we're going to see if we can increase the joule, on, joule output on this unit. Uh, the easiest way to do it, and this transformers that they're using these things are, are, are good quality transformers it should handle some more load coming into it i've never seen a transformer go bad we, we can't increase this to like six joules output we, we might be able to get it to that two plus but what i i need to find a capacitor that i, I can solder into this thing that will fit i'm gonna try this capacitor right here this is it's got a 20 microfarad capacitor in there right now down underneath and I'm gonna see if I can this is an 8 microfarad capacitor let's see if I can I'm just gonna lay it here like this and I'm gonna slide this case on there if the case won't fit I can't use this one I gotta put a find a smaller one so I'm gonna slide this case on here damn it's hitting no hold on Quite right. Uh, this won't work. It's too too tall. So let's um let's try see if I can find a skinnier capacitor. Here's a um I got a seven and a half microfarad capacitor. It's a little bit shorter. We'll have to put some wires on it. We'll have to drill some holes in the case to make it fit if it works. Okay, so it's hitting this right here. So if we move it to the center, there we go. So that one's gonna fit. So let's compare, let's get that one wired into it and see if we can make this, see what kind of, oh, come on. Might make it a pain to work on next time. Hmm. I think once we get the capacitor in the right spot, which it's freaking shifted on the inside, unplug this cord. So I 
see, let me find one more other capacitor that might be a little easier to install. Might, might do this instead. I got a different capacitor I'm going to use. I think it will be a lot easier to install. I've got this capacitor here. It is a eight. No. What the hell is it? I can't tell. Yeah, eight microfarad, nine hundred volt. So the one that these are all like this is a um, seven and a half microfarad, twelve hundred volt DC. This is a, a nine hundred volt DC. Which that's just the capacity that that it can handle. So. And uh, all, most of these are right around 600, give or take. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to probably put that in there. That'll probably be a lot, a lot easier, too. Let me see if it's any taller. It's actually a little bit shorter, too. So this probably fit in a lot, a little bit better. So what we're going to do, we'll, we'll probably put it, like, right there. Oh yeah, that's going to fit a lot easier. And it'd be easier to install in there as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, God damn, get off there. I'm going to solder some wires, basically, from these terminals over to these terminals right here, which is the, uh, which is the capacitor that's inside this unit right now. And then we're going to um, retest the output jewels and see... Um, if how much it increases if it only increases it by like 0 0.1 0 0.2 joules i'm not going to worry too much i'm going to just take it out of there but if it increases it by like half a joule or better i mean that's pretty good jump so let's get some wire here we're going to use some some of this wire here And we're going to this. I'm going to solder it on there. I'm going to basically just splice it with soldering. And there is no polarity to these capacitors on uh, pulse grade type capacitors. There's no polarity to them. And then I'm going to add a little solder to this wire. And then I'm going to blend them together. God dang, it gets hot. And I'll lay it back down like right here. And we're just going to run it over and we're going to attach it to that. I'm going to actually discharge capacitor first. All right. Now I'm going to see how much wire I need to pull off. So we're going to kind of, should be able to go like that. And we'll solder to this one. side of this little connection thing here I'm going to add solder to it hopefully the solder sticks all right solder stuck like it's supposed to I'm just going to heat both of them up together and let them cool off and harden and then we're going to do the same thing to the other one we're going to take a piece of this wire Add a little solder to it. And we're going to heat this up on this tab here and blend them together. Just wrap it over this side like that. Add a little 
little solder to this one. Heat this up. Add solder to it. Hopefully it takes. A lot thicker piece of metal, so it takes a little bit more to heat it up. All right, I'm gonna heat that up, blend them together, let it cool off. And I'll probably just put like double-sided foam tape underneath there, or maybe run a drill hole there and a hole somewhere over here where it's not gonna hit any tracking and zip tie that thing into place. But before we do that, let's actually test this um, jewels and see if my little little thing here is gonna work. So uh, let's um, plug it in. We'll get the jewel meter out here and we'll uh, be reading like 1.3 to 1.4 output jewels before. So we'll turn this meter on. Flip over the jewels. There it is. Two point, about two joules between 1.7 and 2.4. So it's kind of all over the place, but um, we increased it by quite a bit. We went from a 1.3, 1.4 up to 1.6 to the two kind of bounces around there it goes so it did increase the jewels i'm probably going to keep that in there it's a pretty good jump for uh, you know not too expensive of a part to put on there it took a little time to do but so we're going to leave that on there so that increases the power output voltage didn't really change anything because the voltage comes from your uh, transformer not from the capacitor so that's pretty slick little deal on us probably start offering that up to uh, other customers if they ever have a need to want to do that we can definitely try to upgrade and increase the power out of a unit um but anyways uh hopefully you liked that video i thought I'd maybe try it out and then take you on for the ride um you got to be kind of careful doing this kind of stuff because you know these transformers can only handle so many joules energy coming dumping into them from the trans or from the capacitor and these transformers are pretty hardy. Um, Gallagher's old school transformers are really well built. They hardly ever go bad. You wouldn't want this thing to be putting out like five, six, eight joules into it because the transformer would get hot over time and burn itself up. That's why they make different transformers for different size units. They're not, not a universal part through all the different units. Um, but anyways, like the video. Tell your friends about us. Hit the thumbs up button. Share it to your friends. Tell your friends. I don't know. Tell them about us. We'll be happy to work on something for them. But until next time, we'll see you guys later. And Bye-bye.